All right, guys, back with another video for you today. And today I'm talking about the latest release from the House of Parfums de Marly. It's Valaya, this one right here. Are you familiar with Valaya? Are you a fan of Parfums de Marly fragrances? Valaya is created by Quintan Biche, a very, very popular perfumer. He's got a ton of fragrances launching. And I'm gonna tell you a lot about some of his fragrances uh, that have launched recently. So stay tuned for more videos and things like that. But again, this is Valaya that just launched from the House of Parfums de Marly. I'm gonna let you know all about Valaya in this review video. Also let you know about a discount code for using and saving 10% off of fragrances over at Lucky Scent. I have that information in the info box but either way if you're curious to learn about Valaya then please stay tuned Thanks so much for tuning in. This is Sebastian. Yesterday we're talking about Parfums de Marly's Valaya, the latest release from Parfums de Marly, the latest creation from Quintan Biche for Parfums de Marly. Man, he is doing a lot of fragrances. If you guys keep you know track of perfumers and all the releases they're doing, he does a lot of work and he's got a lot of fragrances launching uh, recently. Of course, this one, several for Amouage and a few other brands as well. But Valaya is definitely kind of continuing off of uh, uh, the feminine fragrances in Parfums de Marly's collection of fragrances that are kind of fruity floral. And, uh, you know, after the success of Delina and multiple versions of Delina, we now have this kind of, as I said, kind of airy, flowy, ethereal, fruity floral, musky fragrance. So this is a 2023 launch. Perfumer is Quintam Biche. 75 ml retails for $355. It comes in Eau de Parfum concentration. And I would call this a fruity, floral, musky, woody fragrance. And if you want to find out more information about this, please click the link in the info box and head over to Lucky Scent and you can learn more about Valaya and any other fragrances from uh, Parfums of Marley. And of course, that discount code is the Perfume Guy and it saves you 10% off of fragrances. So the notes in Valaya include musk, orange flower, mandarin, white peach, ambrofix, nymphial, akigala wood, bergamot. So there are several notes I read here to you that you probably are unfamiliar with. I'm gonna let you know what those notes are. They're definitely proprietary notes from Givaudan because Quintam Biche works for that firm of, you know, ingredients and perfumers. So he gets to choose uh, ingredients to put in his fragrances that are proprietary for that firm. And if you follow this perfumer, you notice that he uses a Kigala wood quite a bit. But let's find out what Nymphial is. Nymphial is versatile and diffusive. Nymphial blends fresh, floral creaminess with linden blossom facets. We developed it as part of our ongoing program to engineer future-proof Muguet molecules. And that is uh, directly from uh, Givaudan. And Muguet is basically Lily of the Valley. This is a floral fragrance after all, and there's definitely those touches there, the linden blossom floral touches, and also the Lily of the Valley or Muguet floral touches. And so, yeah, it definitely ideal kind of a note to use in uh, this particular fragrance, Valaya. So what is Ambrofix? Ambrofix is a highly powerful, highly substantive, and highly stable ambery note. It is the most suitable material to deliver an authentic ambergris note. Ambrofix also brings a woody sensuality to the composition and can be easily overdosed. It is the most widely used and most biodegradable ambery molecule. Once again, that is di directly taken from Givaudan. And when you wear a uh, Valaya, you'll really notice the Ambrofix because for me, when I first wore it for the first time, my nose was hit with like an overdose of amber and woods. Kind of remind me, re reminding me a little bit of Ambroxan, but this is not any fragrance that would remind you of something like Baccarat Rouge or anything like that. Definitely Ambrox amber woods or the amber fix is ambery woody and I get a lot of dustings of woods with it and so it makes fragrances last a lot longer. And then finally, what is Akigala wood? Akigala wood is a perfume note which was fractionated from patchouli oil and is used by Givaudan. Its odor is described as woody, spicy, and floral, and that source is uh, from Parfumo.net. So these three ingredients uh, are proprietary to Givaudan and they're definitely present here in this fragrance. So as I was saying, when I first sprayed Valaya, I got an overdose of Ambrofix or Amber Woods, definitely there, but that kind of disappeared a little bit. At first I thought, wow, this 
is so masculine for a feminine fragrance, I thought, because that's what I smelled, because my nose was uh, hit with that really, really powerfully. But then the fruity and the floral touches developed, and you know, I started getting that more the more I wore the fragrance. I wore quite a bit of it, as you can see, to test this fragrance out. And definitely the idea of ethereal comes to mind. It's very airy and very musky, but when you first smell it, it's that overdose of amber woods that hits your nose because it is very powerfully used here. But this is a very musky fragrance. There's loads of musk here, but also orange flower, mandarin orange, and then also the bergamot comes in as well. So it definitely has a very citrusy presence. And then I think what's key here is the white peach. There's definitely that fruitiness here. Really beautiful fruit, I think. I really like it here. And I'm not necessarily a fan of peaches and fragrances to begin with. Not a lot. I like them somewhat uh, in here and there. But I feel like it really does work really well with all the other notes in here. It is definitely a softer peachy. It doesn't have that really strong kind of like in your face kind of of a hit your nose kind of a presence with this particular peachy note. But lots of flowers, as I said, the nymphial comes in and provides that kind of lily of the valley touch and also the other floral touches as well. And it becomes for a beautiful blend of flowers, citruses, and uh, of course, the white peach, the fruitiness. But eventually the woods and amber and then the okigala wood all develop and creates for an amber woody dry down with like light uh, hints of the fruity floral touches in, uh, that were present, eventually also becoming very, very musky. So the Ambro Fix creates the muskiness here with this fragrance. And I think it's, it's perfect that it does that. It prolongs the life of the fragrance. So this is in the clear bottle, right? And I do have to warn you that it is not a beastly fragrance, so it's not like Delina where it has that beefiness. And for me, I'm going to compare it to Delina, but I'm going to compare it to Delina La Rose. So Delina La Rose is this. It comes in a pink clear bottle, and this went right into a clear bottle. It didn't come after two other releases, like Delina was Delina, and then Delina Exclusive, and then became Delina La Rose. Here, we ended up with, um, you know, Valaya right away, and it's in the clear bottle. So I feel like this fragrance, Valaya, where similarly to Delina La Rose. So if you're a fan of Delina La Rose, you always felt like Delina itself was too strong or something was off about it, but you really love Delina La Rose, I suggest you, you know, you try Valaya because Valaya, if you end up liking the notes, the fruitiness and the flowers and the muskiness and the woods and things like that, you're probably going to end up really enjoying this particular fragrance. It wears very airy for me and I, every time I put it on, I visualize these really long drapes kind of blowing in the air. I don't know why. That's why I say it's kind of ethereal. It's very flowy, airy. Breezy is another word for this one. It doesn't have that depth and density that some fragrances have. And I know there's a lot of you out there that enjoy these kind of fragrances. Some of you like them beast mode. Some of you like them light. Some of you like them kind of airy, flowy, kind of things like that. I think these are going to satisfy you. So I definitely think you should try it and see what you think about it. Now the other thing I should say is it does remind me of a couple of other fragrances that Quinton Biche has created. Uh, most importantly, Fleur Narcatique from uh, the house of Ex Nihilo, which I just recently purchased a bottle over at Lucky Scent as well. I haven't really reported on it. The only reason I bought it because I was going to talk about it with some other angle. Uh, I haven't, uh, you know, circled back. But that is a great fragrance and it does remind me of the, uh, that fragrance a little bit. It's not identical. That fragrance doesn't have the overdose of the Ambro fix like this one does. And then also another fragrance that Quintan Beach created for Van Cleef and Arpel, uh, the uh, Neroli Amara, reminds me of that as well because this one does have the uh, the orange orange flower, uh, which is what they claim uh, on the, the Parfums of Marley website. So Neroli Amara also has the orange blossom, so it kind of reminds me of it. Again, not identical. It hints at those fragrances, so you might be familiar with the smell. So if you like the idea of those fragrances and they're not like the kinds of uh, density that you prefer in your fragrances and you like them a little more airy, flowy, breezy, kind of ethereal, kind of aware, musky, woody kind of, I, I would definitely recommend you try Valaya. So anyway, those are my thoughts on Valaya. It's from the House of Parfums of Marley, the latest release from Parfums of Marley. Are you a fan of this particular fragrance? Are you curious to try it? Let me know. Put a comment down so I can find out. Um, uh, and are you a fan of Quintan Biche's fragrances? And again, as I said, he's got a lot of fragrances launching. I will be reporting back on... Um, 
some of his other fragrances very soon. Stay tuned uh, and uh, find out about those. But either way, guys, that's all I have for you today for Valaya. Let me know your thoughts on this particular fragrance. Put a comment down so I can find out. Let me know what you think about it. Let me know if you like it. And don't forget to use that discount code over at Lucky Scent. It's the perfume guy and it saves you 10% off of fragrances. Anyway, I appreciate you tuning in today. Do let me know your thoughts on this and let me know if you haven't sampled it. Are you planning on sampling it? Let me know if you are a fan of the brand and the perfumer. If you have any questions or comments, please put it down below. Otherwise, please like this video. Please share it. Follow me on Instagram and Facebook and I'll be back with more videos very soon. Have a good one. Goodbye. I should also say, I left this off in the bonus section, I will be doing a lot of reviews on single fragrances very soon. If you caught my video over the week, not weekend, well, it was Friday for Angel Elixir, and then today with this Valaya, there will be several other individual reviews coming up of fragrances. There's a ton of new fragrances la launching, so normally I don't do single reviews of single fragrances as much as uh, other channels, but I think since these are pretty substantial fragrances and launches, I'm definitely going to be covering, covering them up. If there are any fragrances that you guys want to hear my thoughts on, uh, put a comment down below. Let me know which fragrances are, but do stay tuned for more single fragrance reviews. But with my reviews, I do kind of add-ons as well like one of them coming up, uh, a brand has launched this really amazing fragrance uh, that I recently purchased uh, that uh, the brand also has these two uh, primers. And I'm gonna talk about that fragrance and then also tell you how the fragrance wears with the primers outside of how it wears on its own. So stay tuned for the some fragrance reviews like that. But either way, guys, I appreciate you tuning in today. Have a good one. Bye-bye.